traditional Slovenian goulash with polenta. Welcome to my Slovenian kitchen. I'm Adrian from a worker craft. Chop up a package of uh, chuck beef, half an onion, and two cloves of garlic. Add a little bit of olive oil. So once your pan is warm enough, add your chopped up chuck beef. Saute it on medium heat for about a minute or two. Then add your onions, half a cup of chopped onion. You want to add two cloves of garlic, minced. Give that a good stir. And deglaze with half a cup of red wine. Cook over low heat till almost all of your wine has evaporated, which should be about five minutes, and look like this. Now I'm gonna shut the heat off, and I'm gonna take it off the stove and put it aside. So take two cups of beef stock, or if you don't have beef stock, use boiling water and two oxo cubes and dissolve them. Add a little bit of the beef stock, then take two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. And add more stock as needed. Add two tablespoons of paprika, two bay leaves. The bay leaves will have to come out before you're ready to eat. And salt and pepper to taste. So I just grind some pepper, I'd say about one teaspoon. And one teaspoon of sea salt. Then add your chuck brown beef. So once it comes to a boil, cover it up and turn down to simmer and you simmer it for two hours. Meanwhile, half hour before the goulash is finished, in a medium pot, add three cups of water. So once your water comes to a boil, you want to add half a cup of cornmeal and you want to whisk it in so it doesn't form clumps. And the heat you want to make sure you turn down so it's not a roaring boil, so it's a gentle boil. Slowly, bit by bit. So once you get all the cornmeal in, it should look like this. It thickens very, very quickly. You want to keep it at the lowest heat possible because it does splitter and splatter. And uh, keep mixing it every two minutes. If you find that it's getting too thick, add just a little more water. Um, it should take about 15 minutes. So once the polenta reaches the desired consistency, which is about 15 minutes, you want to turn it off the heat and then you want to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of butter and give it a good mix. So I'm just checking my goulash. It looks delicious, perfect, nice and thick and creamy and I'm ready to serve. To serve the goulash, spoon one scoop full of polenta. Take your goulash, but make sure first that you take all the bay leaves out. Scoop full of goulash. A teaspoon of sour cream. And some chives. Mm. So delicious and comforting.